Hey YouTube, welcome to this tutorial, and today in GIMP, we're going to be creating the Instagram effect. I guess it would be the Nashville effect. Out of all the choices, I'm not really sure. I've seen a lot of Photoshop tutorials for this, but I decided to put my own little spin on it for GIMP, seeing as the color settings for Photoshop and GIMP are pretty different. We're going to be using the ultimate frisbee picture that we already used, um, partly because everybody else has them. Everybody else that already did the tutorial uh, last time, I guess about a month ago, which is kind of a long time, I'm sorry about that, but everybody has this image, so I figured I'd just use this for the tutorial. Um, that was redundant. Alright, let's get started. We're going to make a new layer. Whoops. Ah. Alright, we're going to make a new layer. Fill it in with this tan color, and the HTML notation is E7E69D. And we're just going to fill that in. We're going to put the layer mode on multiply. That looks good. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to go to the background layer and uh, duplicate that and then hide that layer just in case we mess up. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to go colors, curves, and on uh, green. We're gonna take this little mark and we're gonna move it up about like that. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to colors, curves again, go to blue, and bring it up about like that. And you'll see it's starting to get the effect. Uh, we need a little bit more work on it though. Now what we're gonna do is go colors, levels, on the middle one, you're going to put 1.36, and on the right one, you're going to put 236. And you're going to click OK. Now what you're going to do is go Colors, Brightness, and Contrast. And depending on your image, you're going to want to turn the contrast up and turn the brightness down. Um, so I'm going with negative 27 and 46. It depends on your image. Um, sometimes people like to increase it, but I really feel like that sort of um, brings out the the white way too much. So I think that looks good. And now what we're going to do uh, finally is go colors, curves, and uh, go to the red. I'm going to bring it over here just a tiny bit. And you'll see it brings out the red. Um, I think that looks good. Now what we're going to do is we're going to go layer, new layer, and put black and white. White is your foreground, um, black is your background. Go to your gradient tool, put the shape as radial, and hopefully this will look good. This is I'm just um, adding this part. We're going to go colors, uh, color to alpha, and put white as that. Just because I feel like a vignette would make the effect a little bit better. So um, you're just going to darken it, or uh, put the opacity opacity about 53.6. Looks good. And you are done. This is a really short tutorial. Um, uh, but the effect, it's, it's pretty simple. But it, it looks great. And Instagram really did a good job of making all these options for you. If you have any questions, um, just let me know. I I will try and get out get out with more tutorials, but you know it's exam season, so I've been studying for that. Not really, but you know I probably should. Um, and you can see the difference that you made from this to that. It, it's it's pretty good. And it took like what three minutes or something. So again, thanks for watching this tutorial. Um, I will be more frequent with my tutorials. Um, this is pretty short. I'll probably come up with something more advanced later. But uh, thanks for watching. See you guys later. Have a nice day.